Hey YouTube, it's Charisma. So I am going to make a dashiki. This time I'll be making a children's dashiki. And um, actually it's um, a viewer who saw my video and was using it as a tutorial. He wanted to make his son a dashiki. Um, he was following my tutorial, but he said that he wasn't able to do it. So he looked me up on my Etsy channel and asked me to make it for him. So I figured while I'm making it, I'll make a tutorial video for you guys. But this one is quick and easy. I have the fabric right here. A lot of times when I do the tutorials, you don't see me on camera except like making it. So I thought I'd do it a little different this time. I'm slowly but surely coming back and doing my videos. Um, slowly but surely so switching it up a little so, bit here is the fabric that he sent it's really really nice it's a nice yellow fabric it's already turned inside out and here is his son's t-shirt that he would like me to use as a pattern for sizing purposes so you get to follow me along watch how I make dashiki hopefully it will inspire you and hopefully you'll learn how to use it and it'll be simple and easy so stay tuned okay guys so you will need your dashiki fabric and this fabric is um the short one um this is the one because they have two kinds they have one that is actually longer and that you can fold over and it's for an adult and you don't have to um it's it's pretty simple and this is the shorter type of fabric um so this one you know you could just fold that in half and it's kind of short enough for a children's size i don't really know too much about um how to explain it to you but um yeah it really depends on where you get your fabric this is for a client and he sent me the fabric already so i have the fabric here and this is a t-shirt of his son for his son that he wants me to use as a pattern now, I don't have a tripod so you're gonna have to bear with me I'm gonna be telling you what to do and then I have to put the camera down to do it and then come back so and show you just need some scissors pins and a tape measure if so you need your fabric and you need your t-shirt that you're going to use as a pattern so make sure you turn your fabric inside out and um, fold it in half if you don't have the fabric that is um, that you can fold in half you may have to use two long pieces if you're making an adult one so that's what you need to do now so let me get the t-shirt so okay guys so you're going to take your t-shirt and place over the fabric what you will try to do is align the neckline with the one that you see that's in the pattern already and make sure that it's centered so it'll match and what I did was I kind of like folded the top of the t-shirt because if you leave it up like the t-shirt kind of slants down like that and in my previous tutorial for the men's dashiki I followed that pattern of the actual t-shirt where it slants down and for men because their shoulders are broad it kind of it doesn't really work too well unless they're really really slim so what you want to do is kind of like fold this over to give it like a boxy shape. Um, I'll show you right now. I'm going to fold it back over to show you. Okay, so that's what I did. So it looks straight instead of the regular t-shirt that's coming slanted. Okay, so now you're going to take your scissors and you're going to leave some inches because the t-shirt is stretched. So the dashiki fabric is not stretched so you're gonna want to leave some room for seam allowance and room to actually be able to get it on so I think I'm cutting about two and a half to three inches bigger and I'm gonna do that right now and show you I can't do it with the camera I have to cut it first and show you because I don't have my tripod okay so I'll show you here I put my scissors there so you can kind of get an idea what I'm talking about and um, you want to cut it bigger than the shirt. You see I put a pin there to let me know where I'm supposed to cut here. And then I'm going to come down. So I'm basically going like this and coming down. So that's what I'm going to do now and show you the next step. Okay, so as you can see I cut it. So now I'm going to remove the shirt. And then all I'm going to do is just fold it over. So that it'll be even you'll see 
So it should be looking like this after you folded it over and cut. Okay, so now we're going to work on the neck hole. Okay, so you just fold it in half. I know you're not able to see, but this is where the outline of the shirt is. Fold it in half so that you could, um, so that it could be even, and then you're gonna cut. Before you fold it though, make sure you pin where you had cut first, and then fold it over, and then now you're gonna cut. So guys, you can sort of already see like where this neck hole opening is. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut there. You always wanna start out smaller um, so that if you need to adjust the size, then you can go, you know, you can cut off more as opposed to doing it too big, then you're kinda stuck. So I'm gonna go do that now and show you how it looks. So yeah, I cut the neck hole. However, this is where you wanna kinda be careful. I'm not really able to explain how to do it. You kinda just gotta use your t-shirt as a pattern right now because this is looking um you know too small for a head to fit into like it will get bigger when you cut here and make some room but um sometimes you may want to leave the back and just cut the front part and you guys are gonna have to be a little more creative and try to figure that out on your own because it's really difficult for me to explain i know how to do it myself um, and I'll keep making more tutorials hopefully in the future maybe I'll be able to show you a better way but I'm gonna go ahead and try to widen the neckline and probably gonna be doing something like that and just work on the front okay so that's about it once you're done with that you're just going to stitch from here down stitch from here down you're gonna hem the bottom you're going to hem the arms and you're gonna hem the neck and that's it okay guys so this dashiki is done I did in fact widen the neck hole and one little tidbit that I have to share I forgot to tell you because when you're hemming around the neck it's a curve and so if you don't want the fabric to pucker you'll want to just kind of like cut like little slices all around so that when because it's a curve when you're sewing the fabric may pucker up but if you just cut little tiny slices all around the curves you'll be able to um have it so that the fabric doesn't pucker up so it basically has like a v-neck in the front and it's scooped in the back so necklines are very optional you can use different methods and techniques but if you guys request maybe i will do a video on just necklines I'm still learning how to do them myself um, and I've learned a couple of techniques so um, if you want just request in the um, comments that you'd like me to do a tutorial on the necklines and I will so this is done and I'm gonna ship it off to my client thank you guys for watching thumbs up the video share the video and thanks for watching bye